So just before I finish off this video series, I want to talk about one thing that's traditionally been a huge bait for MX1 students and even MX2 students alike. And that's when they make the really innocent remark, hey look, I am going to go study math now. This is a very fair statement to make in my opinion because you're basically saying, hey look, just give me a bit of time, I want to study some math. But then what happens is as an extension student, you may end up biasing or favoritizing one over the other. So what might happen is some students will be like, oh, MX1 is too hard. I don't want to touch it. So I'm just going to keep touching math advanced stuff. And what happens is they make it a really pimped out math advanced mark, for example, 95 plus or something. But then the extension mark drops way more than what it probably should have. And on the other hand, you have two different types of people. One will be like, oh, advanced stuff, that's boring. I don't want to do with that stuff. I want to touch MX1 stuff. And on the other hand, you might be people like, they'll be like, ah, MX1, oh my god, that's scary. I really need to keep studying it. And then what ends up happening is one of their marks will just end up being disproportionately higher than the other when it really shouldn't be. And the basic moral of the story is when it comes to studying, you need to treat your different math subjects as different courses. You need to make it explicit when you want to study for math advanced and when you want to study for math extension one instead. Make sure that's really clear in your study timetable and whatever. And, well, obviously, to be fair, you might see some math advanced questions crop up, crop up in starting for extension one and maybe vice versa as well. But get into the frame of mind where you're saying, oh, I want to focus on math advanced now or I want to focus on math extension one now because that will help save a lot of the trouble in the long run. Thanks, everyone.